Hi everyone, I'm Mary Superek and I'm your host today of In the Studio. And I'm very excited because we're going to be discussing a, a beautiful program that we have here in Yolo County called Empower Yolo. And we're going to share with you a fundraiser that is being done by the Davis Rebecca Lodge in order to support all the good works that Empower Yolo does for our community. And I have with me today the, um, the director of the organization called, oh, I'm sorry, Cameron. That's Cameron Hanley. <laughs> I, I have it highlighted. There it is, Victim Service Division and Multidisciplinary Interview Center. So I want to say thank you for joining us today and sharing with us one of the new pilot projects that Empower YOLO is doing and partnering with YOLO County. So could you, you share with us a little bit about what YOLO, Empower YOLO does for our community? Well, Empower YOLO um, does a wide variety of things for our community. Um, originally, um, we had two organizations in our community that um, provided a ton of resources for families. We had the Center for Families and we had Empower YOLO. They uh, recently merged um, so that they share the same property and they're also under the um, same umbrella. So, um, and then with this pilot program, I don't know if you want me to start there, what we're doing with the... Um, so I'm the director of Yolo County's Multidisciplinary Interview Center, which um, is kind of a one-stop shop for victims of child abuse and their families to come um, to one place for everything. The, the same intake process, the same lobby, the same staff. They come for the forensic interviews that are used in criminal cases. They also come for the child welfare interviews. It's the same interview. Um, they come for therapy, um, support, advocacy, outreach, and anytime they have to meet with any professionals involved in the case, they come to that same familiar place that they came to originally. Um, and the, the whole idea is to not cause families and children to have to navigate through multiple different systems when all of those systems need the same information to do their job and, and also to provide a safe and comfortable and, and healing place. And we also have a support dog, Daisy, uh, uh, generously shared with us by her human, Lori Ranieri, a longtime Davis resident. So anyways, um, the FVCPP, which stands for Family Violence Coordination Pilot Project, it is something that Yolo County is doing in partnership with Empower Yolo. And it's kind of, uh, it's the same concept as the MDIC, except on a much larger scale to serve all survivors of family violence and also to prevent um, family violence, hopefully by getting families um, the resources that they need before something gets um, dangerous. And we serve adults, children, everybody. So how this is all connected is that um, the county is very interested in developing kind of a one-stop, same thing, streamline intake, um, safe place for families to come to. Um, because I, as service providers, I think we often make the mistake of while we have fantastic resources in the county, we assume that they are available realistically to the um, clients that we intend and the families we intend to serve, but they're not realistically accessible because time constraints, you know, child care, families are in crisis, they maybe have, you know, a two hour window of time to accomplish many competing priorities. And so the, the concept with these agencies is everybody coming together, the, the systems involved and the services to one place um, where families can go and, and get, you know, efficiently helped and get a multitude of needs met. So Empower Yolo was the obvious partner for the county because they already had, on, on one side of their program, they had sexual assault and domestic violence services, counseling, um, legal um, help, uh, restraining order clinics, um, therapy, uh, children's therapy, advocacy, and then on the other side, same property, um, they had the Family Resource Center, Center for Families, that provides um, house assistance with housing, um, food, clothing, um, tax preparation, Zumba classes, yoga classes, child care, parenting, education, um, you name it, anything a family needs. Um, and and but the majority of the staff on both sides is um, Spanish, English, bilingual, which is great. So um, what we did is we, um, with the assistance of, of the county and a grant um, that the county got, 
Um, we merged all, all of those programs existed on one property, but they had separate intake processes and separate lobbies and kind of operated separately, even though they're all under Empower YOLO's umbrella. So first thing we did is we did some remodeling and we merged all of those processes so that we have one intake. Um, they have the same familiar person they see when they walk in the door, one lobby um, for all the clients. And then we added client navigators, which are kind of the glue that literally help navigate through the system and bring the, re the necessary resources to families. Um, they're greeted, they meet one-on-one -on -one privately in a private room um, with the navigators um, and, and they get their, their needs assessed based on their specific needs. There's not like a cookie cutter, you know, model for all people. And, um, and that's kind of the whole um, concept and um, and now what we're adding are county resources so the instead of having to then go to the county agencies to finalize or to get more services you know and a lot of people they don't know what they're eligible for and they don't know often what they need um, so that's the other part is having just one um, kind of simple form and then meeting one-on-one -on -one with a client navigator to kind of um, assess what you could benefit from what your family could benefit from um, and so we're adding the county resources, we're adding them to the same property, same location, so they won't have to go to an additional place. So it's very exciting, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. Um, so the, the navigator that you're talking about, are they with Empower YOLO only, or are they also a, a county employee? Because so, you're mixing, right. mixing them together, and the navigator stays with the one family. So how many families does a navigator have typically during a time? And are they both a county employee or a YOLO employee? They're, they're all Empower YOLO employees. Okay. Um, but we are um, using and grateful for a grant um, that the county um, got and applied yeah. for to help okay. fund the program, the startup for it. But everybody is Empower YOLO employees. Okay. And we currently have, um, and we really kind of underestimated the need. We've been blown away. Um, so we currently have about four um, client navigators um, doing that role, but we've had um, um, as many, because we're because all the clients now come to the same lobby, you know, we've had 177, 200 clients walk in a month. We're open Monday through Friday, so uh, there's not specific hours where you have to just come for specific things anymore. We're just open and whoever walks in, um, so our client navigators, um, you know, it's, it's not necessarily like they carry a caseload, but they, they can meet with 10, 15 um, families a day, and then they continue to try to connect them. Um, but then there's also an, a soft handoff, you know, once they get um, the services that they need and everything starts um, going, you know, then the client navigator can be available but kind of step out and, and work with other families. The really neat... Um, thing or good thing that we've seen is, um, you know, these are families that we already kind of already served in our community in various ways and also at Empower YOLO, but we're finding that 30% of them who have come for something else, for instance, clothing or, or assistance with housing or something like that, or child care, um, are identifying now through this intake process and through the form, they're, they're identifying, oh, I do need to talk to someone about that, or I am living in an unsafe environment. So we're actually um, capturing um, their need at a much earlier stage, and we're better able to serve them, um, you know, by helping them identify what, you know. And, and so that's been the really valuable thing in the, the private meeting with the client navigator, um, that 30% of our folks that have come for other things are saying, I do need to talk about something, and then we're able to... Um, start much earlier and, and hopefully before um, more dangerous things happen. So, yeah. Well, that seems to be a, a very powerful concept, having yeah. the one place to come and, and enter and be working with the navigator because if you have multiple places that an individual has to go to, you become confused. You don't realize what you really need. So that is Wonderful. So you mentioned some of the programs. They have yoga, uh, tai, did you say Tai Chi no, or Zumba. Zumba? Tell us more about the benefits for individuals when they participate in these other activities. And are they on site or are they yeah, off site? They're, they're, uh, they're all on site. Um, we're very inclusive. Um, so anybody that wants to 
um, teach a class or, or, or do something, you know, in our community room and our community space is welcome. Um, and the idea is, is, is awareness with that. You know, while those are healthy activities and stress re reducers, um, also, you know, you may, become, you may come for a Zumba class and you connect with other women, for instance, that maybe are going through similar things with you. You can walk across the hall and get information, get um, flyers, get counseling, make an appointment, you know, and so it's kind of exposing people to everything that's offered there. Or you also can get help with, a, you know, a child care referral or, or, or food closet referral or um, clothing, you know, and, and I think sometimes... Um, even though everybody does a great job kind of promoting what you do, I think people are, kind of, are also unaware when, it, when you're experiencing something, oh, sorry, you think it's, you know, only happening to you and it's scary and you don't want to tell anybody. And so I, I think there is kind of a lack of awareness when you're in crisis of what is truly available. So when you come to a community place like that and you meet other people, you get connected. And, and not all of our clients are survivors of, of, of um, family violence. That's the neat thing about the partnership with the Family Resource Center, Center for Families, or the, the merger, is they serve the whole community, you know, so they have um, all kinds of services that, uh, and, and, and the wonderful thing about that is, is, you know, certain catchphrases or labels are kind of stigmatizing and, and, and alienating, and so, um, we really do serve the whole community That's fabulous. and are open to the whole community. And it's, it's just wonderful. And I want to share with you that you know about this, that the Davis Rebecca Lodge yes. is doing a fundraiser for Empower YOLO, which involves dance. It's our Bollywood yeah. fundraiser. And this year we've chosen your program to uh, be the beneficiary of. Yeah. And I just happen to have the most recent newspaper article here yes. about the Bollywood <laughs> event and Mary Phillip is going to be cooking the food, it's be a traditional be Indian food, yeah. people can do Bollywood, I'm sure they can do Zumba style Bollywood, but it's going to be a fun event to bring the community together to right. help your community which helps the overall community. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping everyone will participate in the Bollywood and yeah. Which, which reaches out to help your programs and to help our families in need. Mm -hmm. And when you mention you may have a two-hour window, we have to have your support people there so that individuals get the help that they need. Right, and um, I want to thank you so much Thanks for coming for today. Me. Yeah. If individuals want more information about Empower YOLO, you can go to their website, which is empoweryolo.org, and you can learn more about the different programs that Empower YOLO offers. And it's a wonderful website to educate yourself on. And do you take volunteers? Ever? Absolutely. And this, so. this is a partnership with the district attorney's office, the county of YOLO, um, and Empower YOLO. I'm actually an employee of the district attorney's office on so loan. Great. So. Um, please volunteer. Please so contact us. Go to those the agencies. website, yeah, and volunteer. And if you want more information about Bollywood, go to the davislodge.org and you can get information about um, our Bollywood event, the dancing on May 6th from 7 to 11 with wonderful food and fabulous um, all the activities that will be going on to help raise awareness and help support your program. So I, again, I want to thank you for coming today and sharing it. Thank and you for give us one last little, you mentioned Daisy. Tell us what kind of dog Daisy is that goes in and does therapy for... She's um, a lab border collie mix and she's a wonderful member of our team. Yeah. Um, and once a child connects with her, there she's with them from beginning all the way through court and through therapy. Um, you know, a lot of times kids have been betrayed by humans they thought they could trust, and so Daisy they can trust, and she's a perfect companion. So wonderful. So thank you everyone to come coming today and listening to this wonderful speaker, Cameron Handley. And thank you for being here in the studio. And we'll see you at Bollywood May 6th, 7 o'clock at the Davis Lodge in downtown Davis. Bye-bye.